What's up guys? I have another Pagani design watch here for you and I'm very excited. This is a homage to the cocktail time and I own a cocktail time so I get to do a little comparison as well. So here's the cocktail time and I put this beautiful blue ostrich leather strap on here. It just looks fantastic. Um, matches those hands beautifully. But yeah, this is a gorgeous watch and I'm in love with it. So I don't want to be banging it up. And this sort of gives me the opportunity to get sort of that similar feel of wearing the cocktail time, but without worrying about banging it up. So this is a $35 watch with some discount codes. You can get it cheaper. Uh, I got this from AliExpress and you can too. Look at that AR coating on there. Um, this is just an incredible deal. I really don't know why I don't see more of these around, but hey, uh, I'm going to show it to you now, and maybe we will see some more of these around once the word gets out. But for 35 bucks, look at this thing. Um, it just looks fantastic. The dial is really well done. I opted for the black dial version. There's also a blue dial version, and there is a black and white dial version with a rose gold case. So couple different options to choose from but yeah this is just gorgeous um first impressions i was blown away for the money i don't think there's anything out there that can beat this so for 30 bucks or 35 bucks you are getting a fully stainless steel case you're getting a seiko vh65 mecha quartz movement which i'll get into in a second you're getting a 40 millimeter case diameter 46 lug to lug, 11 millimeters thick, and a 20 millimeter lug width. So a lot of strap options for this. And you're also getting a mineral crystal, but it's a nice domed mineral crystal with tons of AR, as you can see. And you're getting water resistance of, I believe, 30 meters, because it says on their website 30. It says here 100 but this is a press-on case back and a non-screw down crown. So there's no way that's 100 meters. But uh, this crown is signed, so a nice extra touch by them. And just nice machining, nice high polish all the way around. But I don't really see any flaws. It's just really well done. And a little comparison with the Seiko. You can see the case shapes are very similar, but slightly different. This one's just a little thicker, the Pagani is. And you've got more of a dome because it's a box shape hardlex on the Seiko. So definitely a bigger crystal. And they're the same case size. You can see the ribbed effect on the dial on the Seiko is a little bit wider, a little more spread out. So this one's a little tighter, but they both look really good. And also this has a date wheel. This has a little date window. But of course, very similar designs because this is a homage to the Seiko. But I I really think Pagani did a great job. So if you're not familiar with what a Mecha Quartz movement is, it's a hybrid mechanical movement. So there are mechanical parts in here, but it's a quartz movement. So you're getting four ticks per second, which gives it that sweeping effect like an automatic, but it's battery powered. So when you leave it in your watch box for more than two or three days, you're not going to have to set the time. You can just pull it out, put it on wrist and go about your day. So I think that's awesome. I love Mecha Quartz movements. I have a couple of them already, but I'm glad to be adding another one to my collection because they're great. So... Uh, yeah, specs on this are excellent. The, you have a leather strap, genuine leather strap, so nothing special, but you got Pagani Design embossed over here, and then you see genuine leather. Um, it's really not bad. For the money, I can't complain about it. I mean, really, there's nothing I can complain about on this watch for the money that you're spending. Um, you know, you could say, oh, well, I wish it had sapphire crystal. Well, it's 35 bucks. What other watch do you know that's $35 that has sapphire crystal? So I'm okay with that. And 
uh, an automatic movement, but again, what other watch for 35 bucks has an automatic movement? So really, uh, I think they did a great job putting the correct components into this watch that just really make it feel so much more expensive than it is and really paying really uh, paying homage really well to the Seiko. So I'm very impressed and I obviously own a Seiko, but I really think they did an excellent job. So anyway, there's really not much more to share except how much I love this. And I could just go on saying that going on saying that all day, but um, I am going to show you some different strap options for this that are really going to make it look nice. So I'll be back. I'm going to get some straps out and uh, do a little fashion show. Be right back. All right. First one is this mesh strap. And I think it looks pretty awesome. Let me know what you think, guys. But that looks pretty good. Throw this on wrist. I'll just kind of give you an idea of what it looks like on wrist. Looks awesome. And for me, uh, my wrists, I think, so I haven't actually measured my wrist, but I'm going to guess it's around seven and a half. And it, this just fits perfectly. The 40 millimeter case size is perfect for me. But yeah, the mesh strap on here looks awesome. So that's number one. And we'll move on to the next one. All right, next up, I have this brown leather strap, which looks pretty awesome as well. Um, yeah, this is a nice soft leather. This is actually, let's see, it says it over here, Horween leather, genuine Horween leather. And it's got that nice leather, genuine leather smell to it, which and it's just really soft, really pliable. Um, you don't really have to break it in at all. Um, I'll leave a link in the description for the, where you can get this. It's on Amazon, and I got this for around 28 or 29 bucks. But yeah, just an awesome strap. Comes in a couple different colors as well. But I think that looks pretty awesome. And it's funny to be buying a strap that almost costs as much as the watch does. But look at what you're creating for, let's say, you buy the watch from AliExpress, 35 bucks plus $28 strap. You know, you're looking at, what, uh, $63? So not bad for this beautiful watch. So... I think this thing is a killer. Uh, I'll put on one more strap and then we'll wrap this up. All right, and last we have this nice dark blue leather strap that I also got on Amazon. This is a Riche strap. So I'll also leave a link down for this. This is only 20 bucks. So again, spending almost as much as the watch on the strap, but that's just because the watch is so inexpensive. But yeah, um, looks great. I've been wearing it with the brown, with these, this uh, Horween leather strap that I showed you. I think this one looks awesome on it and really keeps that dressy feel, but still is, is casual. So, um, yeah, all in all, this is just an absolute winner in my opinion. I don't see anything better for the price. And um, if you want a nice dress watch to add to your collection, I think this is an easy way to go. So... Yeah, guys, not really much more to say about this, except it is fantastic and you should buy one. <laughs> so, yeah, but I'll leave all these links. Also, you can get this from Amazon if you're interested. It's a little more expensive, though. They are charging $55 for this. So certainly cheaper to get it from AliExpress, but you'll have to wait because AliExpress, if you live in the U.S. like I do at least, takes about a month to get to me. So um, just keep that in mind. You're not going to be getting it in like two to three days like Amazon. So, yeah, but that's going to wrap this up, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. I'll be putting more videos out. I actually i am going to have a video coming out on this Dress KX. I just got this one in as well. Very excited about doing a video on this, and I'm loving it so far. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.